Hey YouTube, this is Scottish Claymore here. Uh, as promised in my video yesterday, I am bringing you a box opening of Gold Series 4 Pyramids Edition uh, for Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, so there's five of these uh, pyramid like boxes in here, uh, and each of them comes with a different playmat. Now these are the ones on the on the side here, uh, if you can see those. So, so there's one Kaiba, one Yu-Gi, and one of them together. So I'm going to try and keep this kind of as short as possible. So I'm, let's open this up and uh, get started then. So as we're opening this up, there's uh, there's a lot of interesting pulls in this set. Uh, as for how I got it, uh, it was actually on sale at my locals. Uh, normally getting these things online is like freaking, you know, almost 30 bucks if you include shipping for the packs for it individually, but this was 100 bucks for me uh, overall. So when you open it up, you get five packs, five of these pyramid packs. Each one has a mat and the gold series cards. So I'm just going to put it over to the side here, and we'll uh, open these guys up individually. So for the first set, I'll go through the commons, but uh, after that, we'll just uh, skip the commons and go straight to the gold rares. And you know, that's probably what most people want to see and what the mats are as well, of course. So first mat. Kaiba mat. Fortunately, that's not the one I wanted, but what you can do. I'm looking for the Yugi mat. Here are the gold series cards. They come in a pack just like every other gold series. So let's open them up and see what we got. We'll leave the gold rares till last. They sit on the bottom here, I believe. I believe those are them. Let's take a look here. So we have, for the commons in this set, we'll go up here, I guess, uh, Beast King of the Swamps, Eradicating Aerosol, Robin Goblin, Deck Devastation Virus, always good for your Dark World, of course, Pendulum Machine, uh, Diablo's King of the Abyss, Genesis Dragon, Radiant Gerald, Injection Fairy Lily, wow, I guess it was reprinted again in the Battle Packet, <laughs> Versago the Destroyer, Skull Dice, Orichalcos Shun, uh, Shinoros, Goddess of Whim, uh, Prometheus King of the Shadows, uh, Toon Dark Magician Girl, which kind of looks cool. I'm trying to get that glare out of there. Maybe it's the light here. I don't know if that makes it very easier to see. Anyway. Uh, Sword of Dark Rites, Eternal Drought, Millennium Shield, with the alternate artwork, Soul Exchange, uh, The Wicked Worm Beast, Reckoning Nightmare, and Lich Lord King of the Underworld. So those are the commons. Those are most of the commons for the set. There are a couple others like Trade In that I'm sure I'll get in the other packs. Uh, so we'll just keep an eye for those. So here are the gold rares. We'll do the same thing as we did last time. Start from this side and work our way, or sorry, this side and work our way over. And so our first card is Gladiator Beast. Yazarus. Yeah, Interesting. Next, Lightsworn Raiko. That's a gold rare Lightsworn Raiko, which is kind of a good pull for this. And a Summoner Monk, also gold rare. It's okay, it's alright, it's somewhat decent. Uh, as most of you know, there is a BLS in this set, so I'm just going to set the rares over here. And there's also Doom Cal, Spirit Reaper, a whole bunch of other pretty awesome cards, actually, even for this format, which is kind of why I was getting it and hoping to uh, hoping to pull something nice here. So our next mat is Yugi mat. Awesome. There it is. That's the mat right there. And the next set of gold rare. Well, maybe we'll go through one more in case there's some commons that we didn't go over before. I'll try to skip them if I can. Again, gold readers off to the side. So, looking at the commons, Orichalcal Shunner again, Goddess of Whim, Prometheus, the King of the Shadows, Toon Dark Magician Girl, Sword of Dark Rites, Eternal Drought, Millennium Shield, Soul Exchange, Wicked, blah blah blah. We've seen most of these already. Toon World, we haven't seen that yet. 
uh, Magical Formula, which used to be a really expensive card. Now it's common. Sage of Stone, same thing. White Horn Dragon, that's a new one. Goddess with the Third Eye, Eradicating Aerosol. Uh, Meteal, Sage of the Sky, I don't think we've seen that one yet. Uh, Genesis Dragon, Zing Zen Hu, <laughs> Graceful Dice, and the Trade-In. So that's pretty much all the commons in the set, so I'm not going to bother going through the rest after that. Here we go again, we'll go for the gold rares. Okay, and here's our first one. Oh, BLS! Alright, that's what I'm looking for. That's a nice card there. It looks really good in the gold rare too. I don't know if you guys can see that. The camera is not the best in the world, but uh, it looks quite nice. It's uh, I think it's better than the secret rare art, personally, but uh, there you go. A Morphing Jar. Gold rare, of course, and Chaos Sorcerer. Oh, nice. That's a, this is a good pack. Chaos Sorcerer and BLS, which is awesome. So that's that set. Now on to our third one. All right, let's see what Matt. Maybe we'll get the one with all uh, with both of them with Kaiba and Yugi on it. I kind of wanted that one. It looks pretty cool, but they seem to be harder to pull than the just the standalone ones. So we'll see how it goes. Maybe I'll use them for my next deck thing instead of the battle pack one that I've been using. I, I think they look better because the battle pack one and are a little bigger, so. This one, another Yugi. Another Yugi. There it is. And we'll open up this. So this goes straight for the gold rares again. Not even bother with the commons. They are. If you need to take a look, if you see anything you like. <laughs> Just kidding. All right. We go in the same order as usual. So the first one. Oh, BLS again. Oh, awesome. This freaking box is awesome. There it is. Another one. Oh, that makes me happy. And next, Celestia Light Sworn Angel. Not really one of the ones I was looking for. I was hoping kind of for a Doom Cal as well. So hopefully that comes. And Oh, Gravekeeper's Spy. Well, that's not bad either. That's a pretty nice one. That's, again, gold rare. So that's a nice pack as well. Hopefully, let's keep it coming here. Still two more to go. And we'll go this one again. Hopefully, this video isn't taking too freaking long. I wish I had a timer. It kind of would have been smart to set one up, don't you think? <laughs> All right. Next pack. Come on, Matt, that I want. Let's go. Oh, another Yugi Matt. Wow. Normally when I've seen these things, people seem to open like 20,000 Kaiba mats. I've seen people opening 20,000 Yugi mats. There it is. There's the pack. Again, gold rares. Let's set the cons aside up here. So we'll spread them out. See what we got. So first one, Summoner Monk. Again, another. Oh, another Chaos Sorcerer. That's nice. That's always a nice card. I really like Chaos Sorcerer's art in this, uh, in the hollow form here. It kind of looks like the Ultra Wear one uh, from the Turbo Packs. And then, oh, Five-Headed Dragon. Boo. Boo, this card. How many times has this been freaking reprinted, this card? Oh, well, can't win them all. <laughs> and your last one. Oh, one last mat. And it is a... Oh, here we go. That's the one. All right, I got it. Yugi and Kaiba one together. You see the, uh, the blue eyes white dragon on the one side and the uh, dark magician on the other with the Yugi and Kaiba in the middle, I believe. No, I fully screwed that up. That is a Kaiba mat, and I am sorry about that. I am so... <laughs> wow, I guess my eyes need to be checked. I thought I saw the Dark Magician on there, and I was wrong. Well, that sucks. I didn't get the mat I wanted, given that this is the last one. I think we're probably getting up towards 10 minutes here, so I'm going to try to make this as brief as possible for these gold rares. Again, set it down. One, two, three. So, first one. Oh, there's my Doom Cal. That's what I was looking for. I love this card. Uh, it runs really nice as a tech card in Dark World. I, I love it. It's like an e on steroids. 
because it's got 1900 attack. Now, tune table of contents. So oh, that's not bad. I mean, I don't have one, so I mean, it'll help with the collection, I suppose. And finally, oh, that's what I. That's also what I wanted. A pot of avarice, gold rare. Look at that nice card. That's shiny. So anyway, just to do a quick recap here, I'll we'll move these commons out of the way. So what we have. So we have the one Doom Cow Knight. Pot of Avarice, Toon Table of Contents, we actually have two Summoner Monks somewhere around here, there's the other one, two Summoner Monks, one Five-Headed Dragon, two Chaos Sorcerers, again, two BLS, which is amazing for a box, normally you only really get about, I think, one, and there they are, unbelievable. Uh, one Gravekeeper Spy. This deck is coming back big time in this format, and I'm really liking it. Uh, Celestial Lights Warn Angel. That's all right. Morphing Jar. Always good for your empty jar, but other than that, not really much I can do with it. Uh, Gladiator Beast uh, Giraza, or however the heck you say that thing. And a Raikko Gold Rare, which is really nice. I'll be putting that in my Chaos Dragons deck. But anyway, guys, thanks for joining me. Uh, oh, God, it's like 11 minutes now. Uh, so, uh, like, link, subscribe, you know, the, the usual, uh, the usual stuff, and, uh, I'll be putting up another video of, I have some special editions and a couple packs, loose packs that I got while I was, uh, at my locals yesterday, so, well, uh, I'll be putting that up either today or tomorrow, so see you guys later, bye.